I said, people judge me like they past perfect, like they present pretty, like they future flawless. Like this world ain't got drug addicts and alcoholics, rapists, robbers, dealers, murder, extortion. Like me being gay is so fucking important. We all sinning. I don't give a fuck what you call it. <laughs> There's uh, nothing average about that at all. My name is Dr. Siri Satnam Singh, and I'm a licensed therapist. This week, I'm sitting down with a young woman who is still processing the death of her brother, and she's having trouble letting go. In the past, she has had resistance to therapy. However, she has agreed to sit down with me. This is Young M.A. Well, I hear you are excited as hell to be here today. <laughs> <laughs> now we kicking it off. <laughs> Therapy, I know that just just excites you, huh? I had to sip some champagne. Well, <laughs> live your life. So you've come out. Everyone's very respectful. Talk about that, of how you're so comfortable with you. How can we not be comfortable right. and respectful of you? It's definitely something new people not used to. I'm very blunt with it. I don't care, you know what I mean? This is, isn't a lot of me's in this world. Yes. It's just probably not as blunt and, 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 and publicly you know, showing it, but it's a lot of me's in this world. Mm -hmm. So with intimate others, I would think where you are is really difficult to see how they coming at you. No, nah, because I'm, see, I've always been the type of person where I never gave 100% okay. right away. You know what I mean? Because I'm so like, I'm just on point. Like, I don't trust a lot of people. Mm -hmm. It's like I always had the okay, nice to meet you, and I fall back, I observe you, see how you move, and that'll tell me whether or not I should allow you in. So you're in a period uh, in terms of cycles, life cycles, 18 to 36, it's about sex. Right. Not really. Security. You know, you think when you with somebody, that's your day forever, but you know, and then, you know, things happen. But. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we, we move on and we brush our shoulders off. And I got the ladies, the ladies love me. I know nothing about your family of origin. <laughs> Mom, dad, your brothers, I know you had a brother, yeah, right? Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my um, oldest brother, he um, passed away back in 2009. He was in a gang and you know what I mean? He was involved. So your brother was killed by a gang member? Yeah, that was within his gang member. And his team. That was my closest sibling. Um, I have a little sister. She's 13 now. And that was just me. I'm the oldest one now. So I got to make sure my, my girls is right. I mean, my mother, my sister, my grandmother. Okay. And I feel like that's my responsibility. Okay. When he died, it definitely changed me. It, it really did. It really put me in a, a, it's a different vibe, a different feeling. I looked at life different. My like, life wasn't the same to me no more. It wasn't as innocent. No more. It almost feels like a disservice to the loved one we lost to let them go. Right. Do you feel that? To let him go? That it feels like a disservice that yeah, you to forget feels, him? Right. I do. I feel like um I feel like when I don't think about him that I'm doing something wrong. You haven't let him go. Right. And when you're ready you Will. It made me feel like, like, really like alone, honestly. I feel like something's always missing. No matter how, how much I do, how much I succeed, I always just feel like it's never 100%. It's always that 99%. And I just knew it just was like, this was like, yo, this is something I got to deal with for the rest of my life. Is that when you started acting out? Yeah, I definitely started to act out, getting into altercations and then getting arrested and just, you know, just stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. What did you feel? What did you do? Um, I was getting into, like, fights with my mother that I regret to this day, you know what I mean, arguments. We got in so many fights where it was a point where I, 
she told me to leave and I went and stayed with my ex 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 girlfriend. And then it'd be nice. I was in her crib, uh, drinking a bottle of Absolute and just crying my heart out, like just not understanding what the hell is going on. That's scary for you. Exactly. It's very scary. I didn't want to carry on with life. I didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? And then when I went back to school, I really didn't want to be in school. I didn't care to make friends, so I didn't I didn't do anything that a typical senior kid would do, like go to prom and and stuff like that. Like I didn't care for none of that. Did you feel Absolutely. I had to. You. I had to. It was just right, you know what I mean? I just had to put, you know, those feelings to the side and do what I had to do. I wouldn't say it was my best senior year. It wasn't the dream senior year that a, a kid had, you know, you know, before they graduate. Talk about that. I I was they had me going to therapy in school for my twelfth grade year, but I probably had to go like about what? I probably went like two times, three times the most, four times the most. And after that, I just was, I just was like, what am I doing this for? Like, this is not helping. I felt like the, the therapist they gave, they gave me in the school was trash, horrible. But um, after that, I just was like, this don't make no sense. I don't even want to do this no more. Didn't feel it. I was stuck. I remember punching the wall. I remember like screaming. Like it just, it just was like I just couldn't believe that was like happening to me at that time. It'd be times too. I noticed like when I went to his funeral, um, you know the smell of like the the bombing, the yes. bombing fluid. Like I randomly smell that sometimes. It's like it's weird, but it don't matter where I'm at. I could be on fucking on a couch in the bathroom. I randomly smell that smell. Not as much. I used to smell it more when it, around the time it first happened. Mm -hmm. But um, now it's like less. But if it do happen, then it just make me like think like, wow, like the, wow, like that's crazy. But I just feel like maybe that's just him letting him letting me know that he's around. What sounds like uh, what I'm hearing from you is that you still want to give your brother attention, and you don't know how. Right. So what would you do if you were to give your brother attention rather than just let these intruding or unsettling thoughts come into your head? Let's put it that way. I just, I just, I just want to talk to him. Okay. That's it. I just want to hug him. I want to be able to just tell him, like, you know what I mean, like how much I love him. And you know, and it's just crazy because we don't been through so much with each other and it's just weird to know like like my brother is like no longer here and I think about that so much so if I was that get that time with him like, I think that'll really that'll just be the best thing in, that ever happened to me you know what I mean like to have my brother here again. So you said your brother was killed by a gang member? Yeah you know what I mean that's where my trust kind of like comes about where I'm kind of like distant with a lot of people. Well, the other thing is that your brother made certain choices and you made different choices. True. So, I mean, that was your brother's path. Absolutely. And you're on your path. Right. So. Yeah, it's just, I don't yes. like to question God. Yes, yes, I had yes. my days where, you know, I was just like, why? Why me, why him, why us, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I had those times, but then, you know, you really just, you're not supposed to do it. You're not supposed to question. And I'm, I'm just grateful and kind of like really taking that route and not doing the dumb shit that I was doing before because I already know where that would have led me. But you know what I mean? Things happen and, and you learn from it. And that's why I'm, I'm, I'm here today to talk about it. We all will die one day. Mm -hmm. And that's your humility that you your brother's death deepened you into life. I just feel like I'm, 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 I'm part of one of God's like prophets. And I feel like I'm just one person to inspire many. And I feel like that's what I'm here for. I'm here to inspire. And I know it. And I get it now. Because the music is not just the music. It's so deeper than that now. Yes. And I'm, I'm learning that now. Before, it was just something I loved. Something I dreamed about, something I just wanted to do. Now I know that it's something I have to do for others. 